Hi, this is Dr. Pan recording from Tucson, Arizona. Hoping that you're having a good math day. Thank you for watching this clip on finding the equation of a line that passes to a given points. This is a really typical exam question. Equation of a line in general is described mx plus b. So here we're really looking for two variables. We're looking for m and we're looking for b. Okay, we're going to use all those clues to find two things. First name, last name, last name, first name, or something like that. So let's do the easiest one first, slope. Slope is changing in y over changing in x, or commonly referred to as in rise over run. Okay. Now, which point you pick first it doesn't matter. What matters is you stay on with it. So what I tell my students it usually is this. Write the points, stack them on top of each other. That way, you don't get distracted which point is 1 and which one is 2. The reason that order doesn't matter is because it's a division. So, so long you have the same order, you have the same answer in the end. Let's try it. Changing in y, so 5 minus minus 2, that's 7. Since I took this one as point A, I'm going to do the same thing. Minus 2 minus 5, that's minus 7. So I have a slope of minus 1. Let's say you've done the other way around. Let's say we took point A for this one. Okay, let's see what happens. So changing in Y, which is minus 2 minus 5, that's minus 7. 5 minus minus 2, that's positive 7. I still have minus 1. So on the test that you're not quite sure, give yourself some chance to maybe redo it. You should make, make sure you get both of them equal to the same. Okay, now having found a slope is minus 1. Let's proceed, plug it back in there. So we found the person's, let's say, last name is minus 1. Now we're looking for the first name. The best way to find this one is this. Those two points they gave you, minus 2 and 5, 5 and minus 2, they should both fit in this equation. By fit in, we meant this. Fit in. If you have x equal to either one point, let's let's pick this point. If x is e five, I'm just substituting in there. Then y has to be minus two, because this equation will have to give you those two points. Giving any x and y, the relationship stays. From here, you can say b is equal to add 5 on both sides, b equal to 3. Okay. Let's say you didn't like this point. You want to use this point instead. Let's try it. So y is 5 when x is minus 2. And from here, b is still equal to 3. So it doesn't matter which point you use. So long you pick one and stick with it. Okay. So our final equation here then becomes minus x plus 3. Okay. First name, last name, both fun. All right, this is how we handle this type of problem. Once again, from Tucson, Arizona, this is Dr. Pan. If the video has been helpful, I would appreciate a comment or a thumb up. Until next time, have a confident day.